Alright, before I jump into today's video, I wanted to mention that we have a Myers here and they were having a sale on all of these K-Cups. So I bought these. I got the baked apple pie, the Snickers, and this one is the Twix. I love the chocolate. And this one is a glazed donut. This one is the classic cinnamon roll. And then this is the French roast. I wanted the Lazo or something coffee. I wanted to try it or it was something different I wanted to try. But they didn't have it. But the thing is, these were all on sale. Plus, I got a $3 off coupon. It's just crazy. So, um, that will almost pay for one of these that's on sale. And this coupon is good until August 31st. So, I can use it in July or August. So, um, yeah. So, that's what I got. So, that's going to last me a while. Keep in mind, though, when you're buying coffee K-Cups, some of these only have 12 in them and some of these have 10. But now, some of my coffee pods I reuse the second time, go back through a second brew. If I'm not going to use it right away, though, I will put it into a Ziploc bag, just a little Ziploc bag, you know, and I will put it in the fridge until I'm ready to use it, but then I try to use it within a day or so. Uh, I don't want it to be in there too long because you don't want it to dry out. That's the thing. If it gets dried out, it may or may not work for you, but it usually works when you want a second cup and you run it back through and you could save money that way. Uh, and, uh, and as you run it back through, of course, you know, it weakens the coffee. So you got to keep in mind it weakens the caffeine, it weakens the flavor, but some of them still tend to be pretty strong if you do a second cup run through. So, and you know that I did a recent video about saving money and I'm still going to continue those videos. I'm getting some things actually in order and I've been working on filming and things. So be sure to check back in because I've got more money saving tips. But anyway, on to today's video. So I'm using my little tabletop oven and that seems to be baking up pretty good. I think it's almost done actually. Um, but this tenderloin, pork tenderloin um, that I'm mentioning in this video was already pre-seasoned and I forgot to mention that. Okay, first of all, I had this meat in my freezer and I got it on sale. It was like three or four dollars a piece. So when you find meat on sale, go ahead and get it and put it in your freezer for later use. I know it's the summertime and a lot of people just want to save time or they want to cook outside. Well, what I did was I found some vegetables like the potatoes from the food pantry and different vegetables that I had from the food pantry. Put it all on this one sheet pan and I'm going to bake it all together. So sheet pan dinners can save you money but the thing about this is it can also transfer to a barbecue grill all you do is put your food onto these put it onto the charcoal grill or the gas grill and there you go you've got a meal and uh hey it's easy it's simple and it's quick and it's inexpensive also i'm pairing with this this stuffing mix i got from the food pantry and some corn from the food pantry and i had some zucchini left over so i'm going to be making me some zucchini to go with all these vegetables so this is this right here will feed one person about a whole week <laughs> Um, maybe, yeah, about a whole week. Um, I'm going to say it's about at least eight servings here. So this is about eight dinners. And what you have left over, you can freeze it and you can um, put it into a soup later. So, but anyway, this was just a little tip I wanted to throw out there of what I'm making and everything and using up the food pantry items, but yet trying to save money. And if you want to keep cool and don't want to cook in the house, you can cook outside. This is easily, if you, if you cut your vegetables right, they will not fall through the grates, especially if you use this and place it on there right. So I'm just saying, this is a money saving tip. So anyway, I hope you like this video. Thank you guys so much for subscribing to me. Thank you guys for returning and watching as well. Um, and if you're not subscribed, please do subscribe. Please like, share, comment down below. Please hit the notification bell so you'll be notified of all my upcoming video. 